Meter reader and Energix contractor Kane Minion was working at a property in Greenbank, south of Brisbane, Australia, on December the 3rd of 2022. Minion was a dog lover as indicated by his Facebook profile picture that showed him cuddling a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. At the time, he was only weeks from celebrating the one-year anniversary of his proposal to his fiancée. While in the process of conducting an electrical meter reading at the Ison Road property, 42-year-old Minion was attacked by a Bandog Bull Mastiff Cross and a Rhodesian Ridgeback Cross. The dogs took him down and repeatedly tore into his body, inflicting devastating injuries. Emergency services found Minion in critical condition and in spite of resuscitation efforts, he died at the scene. Law enforcement found three dogs at the property and the two that had been responsible for the fatal attack were impounded and later euthanized. They were registered with the Logan City Council and not on the list of illegal breeds, but it wasn't immediately clear if their owner was to face any charges. Number 7. Kyle Dyer On February the 8th of 2012, KUSA TV news anchor Kyle Dyer was conducting a morning interview following the dramatic rescue of an Argentine Mastiff from an icy pond near Denver, Colorado. The rescue had been previously broadcast live by a local news helicopter and it involved a firefighter walking on a precarious section of ice to reach the dog named Max as he was struggling to stay afloat. The heroic rescuer Max and his owner, Michael Robinson, were present on set during the live interview. Daya kept petting the dog's head while speaking to the men. She then leaned in towards Max's face saying, You're gorgeous. I'm so glad you're okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Within moments, the Mastiff bore his teeth and delivered a single bite that landed on Daya's mouth and nose. She backed out of frame and was subsequently taken to a hospital in Denver where she received dozens of stitches. Daya underwent reconstructive surgery that resulted in her mouth being sewn shut for several days in order for a skin graft to take effect and for blood circulation in her lips to resume. Although she was left with a noticeable scar, Daya was inundated with messages of support that she credited with helping her recovery. In interviews that she gave following the attack, Daya maintained that she didn't wish ill on the Mastiff and took a share of the blame for getting too close to him. Robinson was fined for not properly securing Max who was returned to him after being quarantined for 10 days. Number 6. Pam Rob. On February the 17th of 2022, volunteer Pam Rob was working at 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, in Oakland Park. 71-year-old Rob was in an exercise yard with a 125-pound pit bull cane corso mix named Gladys who'd been recently rescued from deep in the Everglades. Rob, a retired teacher, was alone with Gladys when she snapped and attacked her. The dog bit into her arm, dragged her to the ground and started mauling her. Fellow volunteer Jan Hallas Stenger, aged 51, was alerted by the commotion and tried to get Gladys off Rob, but was non-fatally injured. Rob suffered multiple puncture wounds, including to her face, neck, breast and shoulder, as well as fractures to her sternum, ribs and clavicle, among others. She died at the scene and Gladys was euthanized in the aftermath. Later, in 2022, Rob's wife, Angela Anobile, filed a lawsuit against the shelter, listing a multitude of failings that she alleged had led to her partner's violent death. Anobile accused the shelter of failing to inform Rob that Gladys was violent or provide her with protective equipment and of not properly training workers in handling an animal attack. Additionally, the suit, which was ongoing as of the latest updates, claimed that the shelter had failed to call 911 in timely fashion and to render first aid to Rob. Number 5. Sam Lodge 53-year-old Sam Lodge from Grimsby, England, was returning to her home on April the 1st of 2022 when she came across a whippet-like dog and its owner. Lodge, who described herself as a dog lover, asked if she could pet the dog and the owner assured her that it was friendly. Lodge bent down, at which point the dog attacked her face. The woman initially thought it had head-butted her and only upon arriving home realized that a chunk of her nose had been bitten off. She went to the hospital and was told that she'd need extensive surgery to mend her injury. A flap of skin was removed from her hairline 
and attached to the bridge of her nose, which was then twisted to facilitate the healing process. Lodge was left with 16 stitches in her face, which secured a cut that ran across her forehead and to her nose. She was told that it would take at least 18 months for her to regain feeling in her head, but also that it was possible it might never happen. In spite of her ordeal and disfigurement, Lodge told a media outlet that she did not want the dog to be put down. Number 4. Annie Nolan While driving through Footscray, Melbourne, in December of 2019, dog groomer Annie Nolan spotted a fight in which a small white dog was being mauled by a larger one. Nolan, a mother of three, and the wife of retired AFL Western Bulldog star Liam Picken, jumped out of her car and intervened. As Nolan later noted on social media, the larger dog was leashed and its owner was struggling to control it but was attacked and severely injured in the process. Nolan herself suffered a deep bite to her hand and shared graphic photos of the wound on social media, which showed her with blood splattered on her face as well as covering her hand and forearm. 30-year-old Nolan mentioned that the most painful part of the injury was that the dog's tooth had pierced through her thumb. She also posted a photo of the small, blood-drenched dog, which survived the attack and was taken to a veterinary clinic. Nolan, who needed a blood transfusion and stitches in the aftermath, described the attack as a freak accident and wrote that she bore no resentment towards the dog or its owner. She actually expressed concern for the latter's condition, adding, I'm pretty sure he might have lost fingers. Number 3. Donald Ray Allen 65-year-old Donald Ray Allen was found dead on November the 18th of 2020 along the side of Kirkland Road in rural Bascom, Florida. Allen, a father of seven, had visited a friend and left at night without a car, phone, or wallet while he was several miles away from his home. He traveled through the dark on the isolated dirt road, which was surrounded by woods and farmland. At some point during the night, Allen was attacked by a pack of dogs. At around 8 a.m., the Jackson County Sheriff's Office received reports of a man lying unresponsive on the road, and the body was identified as Allen's. An autopsy subsequently confirmed the initial suspicions that he'd been mauled to death. The authorities set up traps and flew drones to find the animals involved in the attack and to determine whether they were strays or owned. Law enforcement released photos to the media which had been caught by trail cameras and showed a dog pack that had been seen in the area prior to the attack on Allen. Evidence collected at the scene was also sent to the University of Florida in an effort to identify the breed responsible through DNA analysis. Today's topic was requested by Katrina, Country Living and Tyler Sweetman. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comment section below. Number 2. Yiltan Kaltikusu Australian man Yiltan Kaltikusu was crouched down watching a soccer game in the Cairnley suburb of Melbourne on June the 21st of 2014. Sitting near him was a pet owner who'd improperly secured their dog by holding its leash under their foot. The animal broke free launched at Kaltikusu and bit into his face, severing his nose tip. As blood gushed from his wound, 54-year-old Kaltikusu was rushed to a hospital. He was forced to wear a prosthetic nose for a while and had four surgeries, including an unsuccessful reattachment and nasal tip reconstruction, involving tissue taken from his hairline. Aside from the disfigurement and breathing problems, Kaltikusu's mental health was also severely impacted by the injury, as he suffered flashbacks and night terrors. In addition to becoming reclusive and afraid of all dogs, including his own, the dog involved in the attack wasn't put down and Kaltikusu was eventually awarded a settlement after suing its owner. Number 1. Pamela Rock In the summer of 2022, Florida mail carrier Pamela Rock was on the job when her U.S. Postal Service vehicle broke down in Putnam County. As she went out to perform a check, the 61-year-old who had been working for the Postal Service for less than a year was charged by several dogs which had escaped from a nearby property that managed to break free by moving rocks at the bottom of a fence that had kept them secured. Witnesses heard rocks screaming for help and found her on the ground with five dogs mauling her. Residents intervened and tried to pull the aggressive animals off her and even shot rifles in the air in an attempt to scare them away. The animals were undeterred by the gunshots and their owner ultimately had to physically remove them 
and they were secured by the time that deputies arrived at the scene. Rock had sustained critical injuries to multiple areas of her body after being relentlessly bitten by the aggressive dogs. Law enforcement applied first aid to her until paramedics made their way to the neighborhood. The mail carrier was rushed to HCA Florida Putnam Hospital and then flown to a trauma center in Gainesville. Staff battled to save her, but Rock ultimately passed away. As later reported by her niece, her heart stopped twice. Her blood pressure was all over the place and one of her arms was amputated before her death. According to subsequent updates, law enforcement launched an investigation to determine if criminal charges would be brought against the dog owner, whose identity they didn't disclose. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get attacked by a drunk professional boxer or by a vicious, full-grown American boxer? Let us know in the comment section below.